Welcome to outlast your competitors. You must be a strong artist and sometimes rely on the strength of your region. We do that well. Just we do, we do that very well. Once again, for this flash challenge, you will win or lose as a team. Yeah, we're the strongest ones, though. This week, we are testing legibility. Legibility is being able to read a design and recognize immediately what it is. If you have a question mark, then you don't have legibility. Today, you must create a design on an 8-foot by 12-foot canvas, one strand at a time. What the Strands of what? In these buckets are over 120 miles of various colors of yarn. Oh, shit. It's one hell of a scarf. How many grandmas you round up to get all this yarn? You must strategically stretch and pull each strand of colored yarn from nail to nail, bringing an impressive and legible work of art to life. Forget ink, master. With all this yarn, I could be the next knit master. Sweaters for everybody. Today's challenge is legibility. We have to know what it is on the spot. You got a lot of bright colors on a black background, a lot of contrast. Think smart, think creative. Oh, that's going to be painstaking. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. We definitely need that now. You'll have six hours, and your time starts now. All right. Let's do it. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. For this flash challenge, we're judging legibility. Do you guys have good ideas? I thought of a big pair of sunglasses and then something in them. Maybe oh, the words and... east? Is that too simple? Could be. These artists have a lot of different colors of yarn to use, so picking the right colors that are going to bounce off this background and make a legible image is tough. Okay. Got bright colors. I was thinking maybe doing something like a neon, like a flamingo, and maybe like art deco-ish. I mean, we're short, two team members, so whatever we do, it's got to be simple. If these strings don't line up right, it's going to get messy. We could do a lantern with a candle. Yeah, we could actually really sell a lantern. We could do it. What came to mind to me immediately was to do like a big eyeball I with like radiating like rays coming off it. So if you present just that, they already beat us in creativity. But it's not creativity day, man. It's it legibility day. That is way more basic. It's not like then complexity day. We're, lo you know we're losing what I mean? time. You know, we could still do it big. Or a UFO. I like the UFO. I yeah. Mean, it's already got that shape. That tells a story. Let's do the UFO. I still don't like it, but I like it better. I draw pictures for a living. There's a reason why I'm not a handyman. God, I wish I could hammer like you. It's yeah. the only reason I was born was hammer. Jarrell and this hammer, man. Douche, 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 douche. Mesmerizing. He's batting 100 right now. We're one of the biggest teams in the competition, and we want to keep it that way. To me, the main focus is trying to beat the West. So we got to move. We got to get it done. I'm the one moving, constantly picking up the slack for everybody. Man, I'm not vibing with anything. Everybody's getting down. They're hammering their nails in. It sounds like a goddamn construction site around here. And we're sitting here doodling on paper. Doodles don't win. We got to get this thing rolling. Five hours left. So you know what we could do? We could take the white, and we could stretch it out, and we could double it up and give us a big, fat, white outline. Perfect. Team South is suffering a big loss right now with Patrick gone. But if there's any team in Flash Challenges that makes us feel better about ourselves, it's definitely East. The East design sucks. Oh, lettering. Nothing says legible more than lettering. That's true. Sometimes you got to spell it out for them, you know? East is going to take it home. You just kind of write it out. Prop, probably East not. East wins. Three hours left, guys. Halfway there. This is how this one goes one to one, one to one, one to one. It's because this one, the spacing between these two is a little bit different. Not a big deal. It matters. Bob's Mr. Systematic. He likes to take charge. He likes to let everybody know how he wants it done. And once he has an idea in his head, he commits. Yeah, I think you're good now. No, this gets us as a smaller gap. It is. It's a small gap by an inch. I measured it. I just measured it. People might bust my balls and call me a robot, but hey, this challenge was meant for one. Are these right? No. No. This is six and a half. If we don't have precise measurements, our design is going to lack in legibility. Every last detail counts, guys. One. 
final hour, guys. This challenge has one hour remaining. Starting to get paranoid that we're not going to finish this. Positivity. It's true, Jess. We're all in the situation together, and we're rolling through it. I just want to radiate beauty and power and like positivity. Thanks for the reminder. Positivity is key, queen. We can do it. I just need to get up into the A. Three. Hurry up. Five, four, three, <sighs> two, one. That is it. Challenge is officially over. It lines up perfectly. Perfect, yeah. yeah, the perspective is great. Our landscape is the same color as your background. This little tiny planet has more saturation than your entire piece. And you dare to come over here to talk shit? <laughs> <laughs>